269 Non-Stop to Paradise. <laughs> My name is Pam Ann. I'll be your head purser on board this fast-moving vehicle, which weighs 20,000 tonnes. It's a goddamn miracle we can get this baby off the ground. <laughs> if God intended us to fly, he would have given us what, then? Wings over there, you were confident about that, weren't you? No tickets, don't go on it. And you would have put smiles on which cabin crew's faces. Goes without saying, doesn't it? British fucking airways. I mean, let's face it, how many times can those bitches say welcome aboard and mean it? No, not me, because now they are greeting their passengers as though they are personally responsible for the death of Princess Diana. <laughs> Just recently I bumped into some of these bitches. I was in Melbourne, Australia, at an airport called Tulla Marine, which is an ancient Aboriginal word for get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I was walking through Tulla Marine Airport, minding my own beeswax. You're thinking, aren't you, madam, where's my bags? I don't have bags, I have people. <laughs> see this sea of red. There was about ten of them wearing tired skirts hitched up. Come fuck me pumps. Smoking implants, long blonde hair and cock fucking coral lip gloss. And I walk into the airport like this. And that was the boys. Virgin Atlantic. Goldfish, aren't they? Where are we? How do we get here? And I walked past this bar and I looked in and I saw these three British Airways flight attendants. You know what it reminded me of? That painting Scream. Which I still have. And I said to the girls, let's have a little drink. Shall we have a little drink? They're like, got shit-faced by about three in the morning. I turned to the girls and I said, shall we get a gram of coke? If we get two grams, it's cheaper. And if we don't finish it, we can always take it back to Heathrow. <laughs> Finally, I was on the last leg of the flight and the captain bing-bonged me. So I went up to the cockpit through the beaded curtain. We don't give doors. If they're going to get in, they're going to get in. Well, thank you for choosing to fly Pamela Airlines, the world's most experienced airline. The fact is, we don't make the same mistake more than three times. Maybe four. Did you feel it? Did you feel it? Did you feel it? We get an easy jet on the way here. Just trying to get the phone number. I'm on way, so... I'd like to leave you now, ladies and gentlemen, with a little number. Something I wrote in 1975, when I was black. <laughs> Joy, put your hands in the air from side to side. Come on. Come on, sisters. Come on, brothers. Two. 